the importance of the work that we do at, has been demonstrated to be very relevant. You know, uh, not only locally in Nigeria, but also uh, continentally and then in the global stage. In the sense that we've addressed problems that could be very important for public health in Nigeria and then also problems that could be very important in public health in, on the continent. For instance, we've been able to uh, use the resources that we have to prepare the workforce on the continent to address, you know, uh, or to address the, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, during the past two years, during the COVID-19, we've trained over 1,500 African scientists from 48 countries. So, and that for us is very important because the work that we've, we've done, the capacity that we build on the continent of Africa has really tremendously helped Africa to respond to the epidemic or to the pandemic of COVID-19. So, uh, Christian Happy is a foremost uh, genomic researcher in Nigeria. Um, he is driven by excellence, he is driven by discipline, he is driven by hard work. Yeah, I can describe the impact of his work in two ways. Um, first of all, in the way that he has trained the next generation of uh, research scientists in Africa, kind of coordinating and um, leading the training of researchers, uh, frontline public health response team, and of course, uh, the national uh, public health response team across African countries. Yeah, so I've known and worked with Professor Happy for almost 20 years, and I've known him to be a diehard scientist. Uh, he's very resilient, very hardworking, never giving up. Uh, he's a goal getter, he's uh, an amazing leader. First of all, I keep saying self-belief. When I left Harvard and then I came down to, to, to Nigeria, I came to Redeemers University, there was not even a single pin, there was no laboratory, there was nothing. I started with nothing. I, got, I had ideas and I started with ideas. I believed strongly in the ideas that I have and I sold the ideas to people. And somebody bought the ideas and then we went from there and then we built it to where we are today. So it's always not necessary that you start with money or you start with, with you want to have everything to get started. No, you got to start from nothing. What is enduring, what is enduring is actually something that is built from scratch. I'm very sure that, you know, if you gave all of the facilities that are available today from, I mean, to, I mean, at SD to some people, they won't do anything with it. It's about being able to dream and being able to concretize your dream and make your dreams reality. I remember uh, this period during a uh, Lhasa outbreak and we were really working uh, and we worked super late, which is like uh, the usual life for Professor Happy. He works late into the night. He does not take cognizance of time because for him, you have to get the job done. And on that day, we worked and that was like almost uh, past one and everybody was super tired and we had an issue and you know, I was really happy that, okay, at this point, I think we have to stop and maybe continue the next day. And by the time he came into the lab and he, he was like, oh, why are you guys not working? And I was like, oh, sir, we have this issue, you know, with one of the cords of the machine. You know, the guy just grabbed the, the cord, you know, yanked it, you know, and plugged the, um, and they came on live wire directly into the socket and he was like, oh, guys, let's go. And, you know, I, I, I felt like, you know, just squeezing myself and just disappear because uh, I know that, OK, you really have to get the job done. But eventually we got the job done. And this has all this has helped me grow as um, a young scientist. And, you know, it has also made me see life in another aspect. And it has taught me a lot of things that uh, it's quite helpful to my growth at the moment. And I would really say that I am happy and privileged to have worked with, with him and still working uh, with Professor Happy. We started small and we grew. But then that growth comes from being able to use the little that you were given, maximize it, do the, make the most out of it, and go back to people and then tell people that, you know what, you gave me $100,000 then, then look, I've done the work of people that were giving a million. And then they believe in you and then they can give you a million. And then you use a million to do the work of five million. 
So I think it's all about being focused. It's all about being determined. It's about you know putting in your best, best for uh, putting in the best for everything you do. I will tell you that the journey to starting is Gigi was not sweet as you see it now it was kind of rough but um, the typical professor happy uh, i call him a daring leader because he once he wants to take his leap he's going he's not looking back irrespective of whatever he sees around any challenges any orders he's just going i remember going to Abuja from Lagos to go and submit and that was the last day of submission and um, just a senior lecturer then in the, in the university. As I came in into the room where we were submitting, um, some other uh, people came also to submit proposal from other universities and I remember someone asking me that ah, which university are you from and I said uh, Redeemers University. Before then, someone had asked, are postgraduate students submitting? And I, I looked at myself, I said, oh, do I really look this young for someone to look at me and call me a postgraduate student? But I didn't answer, but um, the uh, officer that was submitting um, all the proposal to then at um, NUC, um, just smiled and said, no, no, she's not a senior, she's not a postgraduate student, she's a senior lecturer from Redeemers University. And then someone then now has Redeemers University, where is that? How can Redeemers University be submitting? And then he asked me, so how many proposals are you submitting? And I said, oh, no, we're submitting only one. And they're like, you don't stand a chance that um, other universities are submitting like four, seven proposals and then you are only submitting one. How do you think you would stand out from this um, competitive uh, application? I said, well, I, we believe that we're submitting one and one is one. I think you people that have seven proposals is because you are not sure of what you have. And so that, that, was, that was it. And the reason why we're saying this is simply because uh, our work has ramifications not only within our community but across the country the region and then the continent and even the globe and we have really demonstrated that you know um, research done in africa could be very relevant could be very impactful not only on the continent but globally and that's what that's why the work that we do here is very important and that's why our center has become one of the global reference centers when it comes to infectious disease research Working with Professor Christine Happy, we've come a long way actually. He successfully supervised my PhD work and I defended in 2006, after which um, he, he took me up also as a postdoctoral fellow. And um, also by his act, um, we found ourselves here at um, Redeemers University. And really, he's been a very good mentor. And um, I, th I don't think um, I would have gone this far if I didn't have his kind of leadership. He's someone with a very strong drive. He's, um, he doesn't take no for an answer. So I came to SGD in 2018. I've known Professor Happy prior to the time I, came, I went for my PhD abroad. So I came to SGD in 2018 to a research project that has to do with understanding the features of protection to Lassa fever virus, which is very endemic in West Africa, especially in Nigeria. I've seen SGD move from having not so much and to now build a strong capacity that we can actually extend and train other people in immunological research. Working here at Ace Gibbs is a fascinating experience for me because Professor Happy manages um, to bring people with different expertises together in this institute. And we, we are working together as a team and um, benefiting from each other's work experience. I really like working here at Ace Gibbs. Um, 
because Professor Happy has put together a team um, of people with many different work expertises and he has also built he's part of an international network and he's really good in like getting people on board that can work together on solving problems and setting up um, new workflows and new projects. My experience with Professor Happy has been interesting so far and what I find most interesting is how approachable he is even though he's the director and supposed to be like the big guy up there but he's really approachable. I mean along the line it's all about being working extremely hard looking you know trying to searching for the best opportunities and applying for them. Yeah, of course we got lucky along the line but it's also that we work extremely hard you know to convince people of our ability to do things. Every resource that was given to us was used judiciously. Every resource that was given to us was used to the fullest and people got encouraged by seeing us doing you know what we could do with the small resources that we had. Along the line, we got many grants, so I think it's over 20, if not more, 30. But those grants were used for the purpose for which they were designed for. And of course, we had, uh, we had companies like Illumina that came to us with strong support, you know, supporting what we're doing. And then we also got some very good partnership with ISN lately, you know, with some support from them. They, I mean, they have to be fair enough to ISN. I think we got some very good support for them uh, lately into the work that we're doing. And it has become pretty much a partnership. And that should be acknowledged and that should be and I will say that I want to give them credit for also being part of this vision and continue to support us as we're going.